Hey everyone, Dave and Ian back with more coffee stories from Drift Away Coffee with info on our ground and whole bean offerings for July and August. Guatemala is a country with many volcanoes and the Acatenango region where this coffee is from has three right next to each other. The volcanic ash and pumice in the soil imbue Acatenango's coffees with flavors that are distinct from coffees from other regions of Guatemala, such as Huehuetenango, which has less volcanic activity. Guatemala is located in Central America, with borders touching both Mexico and Honduras. This coffee comes from the Acatenango region of Guatemala, which is located in the southern part of the country, just outside of the city of Antigua. Now we'd like to bring in Ana Sofia Narvez from our importing partners at Caravella Coffee for an inside look into the region that this coffee comes from. Most of the coffees we have experienced roasting is from Huehuetenango, which is pretty far to the north of the country, close to Mexico. Yep. Um, and I guess we may have had a coffee or two from Coban or uh, Antigua. How would you say that this region compares to those regions uh, as far as the coffees go? Well, you know, like coffee from Acatenango is very different. So coffee plantations over there are close to many volcanoes like Volcan Fuego, Agua, and Acatenango. So you can find more like citrus notes, molasses, caramel, sweet almonds as well. But then you also find like good acidity, balanced body, uh, nice, lingering finish or aftertaste and if i were to compare it with wewe in wewe it's very different you can find like fudgy coffees chocolate red fruits cherry but you can also find like honey lime sweet coffees as well in in terms of coban when i think of coban i you know picture a coffee that is like medium to full body spicy flavors rich body so it's it's very different and i think most of this comes not only from the mix of varieties but also because of the different climates that guatemala has so around 300 different microclimates in the country one nice things about like arcatenango is that it has a lot of wind coming from the pacific side mm -hmm. so it's pretty cool area average temperature is around 18.8 degrees Celsius annually, but you can reach like low temperatures, like 13, maximum 30, but it depends. It's very well spread. Yeah. Um, and you can you can do it in the harvest. You can have like optimal uh, conditions for drying coffee as well. And then that kind of leads me to the idea of um, the terroir there and the volcanoes. And that's probably also part of the, the distinct um, flavor compared to other microclimates in, in Guatemala. Would you would you say that that's true? Like uh, there's more volcanic activity, more volcanic soil in Acatenango compared to somewhere like Weiwei? Some, some, yes, to some level, um, especially because plantations that are close to Acatenango have different volcanoes surrounding the area. Uh, but in, in general, Guatemala has 37 volcanoes and most of them are located in growing regions. So we're speaking San Marcos, Huehuetenango, Quetzaltenango, and of course, like Zacatepeques, Antigua, and, and that area. Mm -hmm. But the active ones, what makes it different in here is that they are close to an active volcano that is, you know, erupting or just kind of sending ashes to, to, the, to the soils. Yeah. Every once in a while, so it's constant. That's why kind of the the composition of the soil is different. Right, and the ashes can kind of come down in a cloud too, and just sort of cover everything as well. So there's there's some negative effects as well. Is that true? There are some there. So on the positive side is that you know you can you have rich soil, so you, plants can grow, and if you match that with good farm management practices from planting till drying, then it's all great. But then there's always this risk because you live so close to volcanoes. Uh, one example can be in 2018, where many farms and plantations were affected by an eruption. So it's estimated that around 3000 people were affected. Some of them died. Some of them uh, haven't been identified. But it's interesting at the same time because when your country has so many volcanoes, you just get used to that. 
Yeah. And, and people, you know, are pretty okay with with that. Could you tell us a little bit about what you think is unique about this coffee, the the La Cometa lot um, from Acatenango? Well, what I think what makes La Cometa coffee special, aside from its microclimate, is the producers that are behind these coffees that work really hard to produce some of the best coffees from this area, but also the good mix of varieties because you can find like Catura, Bourbon, Pache that complement each other pretty well. And you can also have like Pacamara from, from this area. So I think that is kind of the perfect balance in, in a way. And this is an area that is predominantly inhabited by Cachiquel Mayan group. Mm -hmm. So most of them live around this area and I think that makes, you know, everything just different. So they don't, do they speak Spanish or uh, do they speak another language? Well, in this area in specific, you have two, two official languages, Caquichel and Spanish, but most of them um, speak Spanish because okay. it's just, you know, what is accepted as the official language, but what the Malang in fact has 22 Mayan languages. Yeah. It has two languages from the kind of Caribbean side, Garifuna and Xinca, and then Spanish that is the you know most spoken one. This coffee is balanced and juicy with notes of stone fruit and mild citrus. We recommend brewing this on a pour over coffee maker and it would also make a great single origin espresso. That's the Guatemala Acatenango La Cometa. For more info about this coffee, visit driftaway.coffee slash GLC. And visit the links in the description below for our other profiles this month, including our three cold brew profiles. Check them out at driftaway.coffee slash cold brew. As summer heats up, staying cool is a breeze with our easy to do no mess cold brew. Thanks for checking out Coffee Stories. Be well, and we'll see you next month.